Hello, and welcome to our demo. Managing entitlements and licensing software safely and easily are key for transforming the overall experience for selling new digital products, including software and services. Learn about streamlining and automating the licensing processes with SAP Entitlement Management and Weboo Systems Code Meter. Now, let's start with the initial demo system setup. SAP Entitlement Management automates the entitlement management processes and operations. The process starts in SAP S4 HANA Order Management. For downstream processes, there is an integration with Weboo Systems Code Meter that automates the process of delivering and managing licenses for software and digital content. The first step that you have to do before you can distribute and license your software is to protect it. So let's have a look how the process works to integrate protection in your software. Weboo Systems provides the tool called the AX Protector for this purpose. Here you can see a sample application. This example relates to TG102 and TG120 that are used in the following demo. With the two components, I would like to show you that you can protect different components or functions separately within an application. The sample application that I adapted for this demo is provided by WeView Systems with its development kit. Let's come back to the code lines and how to protect them by using the AX protector. What I do here is to protect the binary and also different functions. Keep in mind the protection of the software is done once and this is the prerequisite for licensing it for many users. What you see in the following demo is how to sell the software and how to deliver the license key to the end customer. Before we go ahead and watch the demo steps in the systems, let me give you a quick overview on the demo flow. The overall process usually starts with some kind of sales order relevant request. In our example, the sales order is created in S4 HANA. After the order is saved, the automatic process steps start based on the configuration and the defined rules in the SAP Entitlement Management System. First, the entitlements are captured in the Entitlement Repository automatically. And secondly, the SAP Entitlement Management System sends a call to WeView Systems License Central to generate the ticket for the license key. Afterwards, the multi-directional communication is utilized and the ticket number is sent back to the SAP Entitlement Management System. The latter one sends the ticket number to the Sales Order Management System. The sales order is updated automatically. After that, the follow-up process is triggered and an email is sent to the customer. When the customer receives the email with the license ticket information, the license activation can be done via the user portal. The customer connects to Code Meter Web Depot and then activates the license. Now, let's watch the demo steps live in the systems. Here you can see the S4 HANA Sales Order Management System. You enter the sold to party and customer data, then enter the material numbers TG102 for a three year service support and TG120 for the precision measuring equipment with an order quantity of three. For both order line items, you enter the validity period. Having done that, you save the order. This triggers all follow-up processes. Here, you can see the SAP Entitlement Management System and select the tile Entitlements to look at the generated entitlements. You search for the just saved sales order 1372 and you will see the related entitlements with the right quantities and validity dates from the sales order. Here you can see the WeView Systems License Central that received the call from SAP Entitlement Management and generated the ticket number. And here is the list of the license IDs that are created for the request from the sales order. The communication is bi-directional and the ticket number is stored in the SAP Entitlement Management System. The ticket number is also sent back to the sales order and stored there for each line item. These processes run automatically. The customer receives an email with the ticket number. 
Because I have an email with the ticket number, that gives me the possibility to activate the license. Now, I am in the shoes of the customer who tries to execute the protected application. The good news is the licensing is working. However, how you see the application recognizes that I don't have a valid license to open the application. In the first step, I am going to use the license MX three-year support and transfer this to my container. You can see the license is currently on the move. It is going to my local machine. After receive the license, you will see that I am able to run the application and I am allowed to use it. So the license transfer is completed. I go back to the application and do a retry and the application is coming up. So the licensing was successful. And here you can see the container that I received with the licenses. I have both licenses on my system now. Now we are at the end of the demo about the licensing process. Thank you for watching.